What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. Well, since we're stuck at home, being responsible during this quarantine, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna review some knives. So I get this question all the time from you guys asking, what knife do you recommend for a beginner or somebody trying to get into cooking and on a budget? And to be honest, I don't know because all of my knives in my knife bag are $200 and over. Um, so I definitely don't recommend any of those if you're a beginner or on a budget. Uh, so I bought three different knives, uh, very affordable knives, 40 to $70 range. And I got the ones that look the best in my opinion. So we're gonna test these three and I'm gonna tell you which one of these out of the three are gonna be the best for you. So we're gonna find out together what a good budget knife is, okay? So let's get started. These are the three knives that I bought on Amazon. They all come in really nice boxes. Typically they come in boxes like this. This first knife is $40 and this one is $45 and this one is $72. But when I bought it, it was 60. So, but they just raised the price on it, I guess. But anyways, let's uh, go through each of them. This first knife is by Simple Song and this is an eight inch Gutel Japanese chef knife and it is stainless steel, single bevel, single bevel, which means that only one side is, uh, has an angle and the other side is flat. So that is a single bevel. And yeah, it feels really good. The weight, good weight to it. The handle is pretty nice, nice rosewood handle. I mean, I don't really dig all that in the back, but it's fine. One fault I already see with this knife. You see the tip there? Either came chipped or they just don't sharpen it. It's very rounded at the tip, which is pretty weird. Well, that's the first one. Second one, this is by Fam Shoot. Well, I don't know how to pronounce that. Maybe the Fam Shoot, Fam Cute, whatever it is. This one is $45, Japanese style chef knife, also known as a Gyuto, also eight inches. So they're all the same style of knife. Nice, beautiful rosewood handle, octagon shape handle. Really nice, actually. The handle is like really smooth and the steel is called 9CR18MOV. That is a type of steel, which is a fairly common type of steel, commonly used in a lot of kitchen knives and a lot of, um, a lot of pocket knives as well. You see the gap at the, at the edge here. So the lowest point of the knife is right here. It should, should just be flat, but you know, $45 knife. I guess uh, you can't really complain. Next one is this. It's by Forge to Table. Nice box. Nice looking knife. Beautiful handle. Check this out, beautiful blade. This is a VG10, which is a very common type of steel used in Japanese knives. It's a high carbon stainless steel as well. So, which means that it has the hardness of a high carbon knife, but it also has that resistance to, uh, to staining or to rust. Really good balance, look at that. Much, much lighter than the other two knives, but uh, perfect balance. I do, I do really like this one. Uh, this one costs the most. Uh, VG10 steel, that's really good. So they're all the same style of knife. Japanese Gyuto 8 inches, which is a knife that everybody needs. So we're gonna do a few different types of tests on these knives. First, we're gonna try to cut paper and see if it can cut paper. And, it, and then we'll move on to some vegetables. Then after we cut all the vegetables, we're gonna come back and try to cut the paper again to test the edge retention. All right, let's see it started. The $40 knife, the single bevel. And the thing about single bevel is that um, they only have it for right-handed people. If you're left-handed, you want the single bevel to be on this side. So this will be only be good for right-handed people. Just a note. All right, see if we can cut some paper. Oh, that's pretty good. Nice, it's smooth. It feels very smooth all throughout. Look at that. Oh, wow. All right, whoa, that is a pass. That really works well. Wow, that's straight out of the box. All of them straight out of the box. I have not done any sharpening or anything to it. So this is the $45 knife. 
Let's see if he can perform. Ooh. This one's even smoother, actually. This one, yeah, feels smoother. But hey, that's a pass. That's that is great. Now let's test the last one, the VG10 by Forge to Table. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, they all pass. This is yeah, feels really good. Actually, I think the one that felt the best was uh, this one right here. That's the $45 knife by Fam Shoot. Next is the tomato test. Here, I'm gonna cut just the bottom first. Ooh, feels good. Let's see. Let's see if I can if it if it does this. Ooh, look at that. That's looking, that's pretty good. That's really thin and it cut pretty easily. Let's just slice the rest of it. And we're not throwing any of these vegetables away. The $40 stainless steel knife, so far, very good. Now let's test this one. We'll do the same thing. Ooh, that feels good. Ooh, yeah. Even smoother. And even thinner. Both feel really good. This one feels a little smoother though. And let's go with the most expensive out of the bunch, the $70 VG10 Guto. All right, same exact thing. Super thin, very sharp. Look at that, easy. All right, so far I'm pretty impressed with these cheaper knives. Let's go with some cucumber now. I'm just gonna cut it into three sections so we have a fair amount for all the knives. All right, now let's just uh, do like a speed cutting. Ready? Nice. Well, that's pretty good. And I'm trying to use all of the knife. Like I was cutting with this section, I cut with this section, I cut with the tip, just to wear the whole thing out, you know? And then we'll test it at the end if you can still cut paper. Now with the $45 knife. I can feel that this one is sharper. This one is definitely sharper, but the weight of it is kind of weird. It's it's very heavy on the blade side. You see that? You want it to kind of be balanced where you're gonna hold the knife, which is typically right around there. But the blade is very heavy, a lot heavier than the handle. So it feels a little weird. But other than that, very sharp. And the last one, the VG10, $72 knife. Feels really good. That is smooth. For that round, I do like this one better. This is so, it's really light and well balanced. So through with vegetables, this is so good to use. This is the $40 knife again. Let's see it.
All right, one thing I do notice, since this is a single bevel knife, it's a little thicker. And when you cut through the onion, there's a little more resistance because of that thicker blade. $40, I would not, I don't mind that. Back to the $45 knife. decent but i feel like it lost a little sharpness already Ooh, i don't know well let's see let's keep using all of them the same exact amount and we'll find out You're not crying no no i'm not crying because the if you use a sharp knife to cut onions it doesn't make you cry really yeah all right now let's do the onion with the vg10 from forge to table This one is definitely the sharpest. See how I'm not using the front of the knife, I'm using the back of the knife to scoop the vegetables. If you use the front of the knife, any lateral deviation is a really fine point. So any little movement like that is gonna bend the tip. It's gonna make your knife duller. I never knew that. Yeah. I don't even think I noticed you do that. I, well, sometimes I'll do this. I'll pick it up like this, Yeah. you know, but there's no, it's flat against the board. So we're gonna to try to cut this very thin. Just kind of like, when you're working as a sushi chef, like you have to cut, we always have to cut uh, these green onions as thin as possible. Pretty thin, not bad. The only complaint I have is that these the letters on the back kind of has a resistance when I'm slicing, so I kind of get stuck a little, so it slows me down. Try it with the $45 knife. All right, let's go. Just a little heavy on the blade. Other than that, no complaints. Love the handle. Ooh, I think I already I think I know that this one's gonna be the best one. Very light, so you can go really fast. We've used each of these knives just a fair amount, uh, but not all that much. So now I think I'm just gonna bang the board with it, maybe a hundred times with each of them. And we'll do that paper cutting test again so we can test the blade retention, all right? All right, so I've been using this cutting board to cut right now. Uh, this cutting board costs more than all these knives put together. This is a really good cutting board. It really um, is soft and it's, uh, allows your knife edge to last much longer. But this is a cutting board that you would see more often um, that you would probably use. A lot more harsh on the blade's edge. So I'm gonna bang each of these knives a hundred times on this board and then we'll do the paper test. All right, that was a hundred. All right, well, I would say all of these knives got some good use. Now let's see if it can still cut some paper. So we'll start with the $40 knife. Ooh, still, hey, held the edge pretty well. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as before. And now for the $45 knife. Yeah, still good. Still good. Oh, slipped a little there, but yeah, no, that's good. Completely fine still. 
And the last one, Fiji 10, $70 knife. Hold on. Ooh, this one actually. Still cuts pretty well, but definitely doesn't feel as smooth as it did before, but still cuts well. Um, and I think that's because of how fine that edge was and how thin the blade is. So yeah, I do notice a difference with this one, but still sharp right now. It's still just as sharp as the other two, just not as sharp as when I first used it. So all of these knives performed pretty well, but out of the three, I would definitely recommend the third one, the VG10, but is now currently the most expensive one, $72. But at $72, I think this is a very solid knife. Uh, and the other two, $40 and $45, they're both good as well. So if you want something a little cheaper, either of these will, will do, but I think this is the one I would choose if you wanted the cheaper one. It's only a $5 difference. I think this one's a little more a little more heavy duty. And the $40 knife is pretty decent as well. I just don't like that the tip is sort of rounded. There's no tip to it. I don't like that at all. Um, it's also a single bevel knife, only good for right-handed people. Um, and I'm not, not really a fan of this right here. It's kind of grippy when I'm slicing. So other than that, the blade itself, stainless steel, uh, it's pretty decent. All right, so if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want me to do uh, more of these knife review sort of videos, helping you decide uh, which knife you should buy. And if you liked the, this sort of budget style one, uh, let me know. Uh, by the way, these are all made in China. Uh, I don't think you're gonna find any made in Japan that are under $100. Uh, but I mean, if you liked it, but the knife itself, the quality of the knife itself, they're pretty decent. But I think the, the problem is like the awkward shapes, slightly awkward shapes, and in the, the no point on the tip, these are little details that uh, would not pass if it was made in Japan. The video's not over. I'm gonna give all these three knives away because what am I gonna do? I don't need these knives. So I'm gonna give it to you, whoever's, not you, oh. not you, not Jocelyn. I'm gonna give it to you, one of you guys that are watching along with a uh, nice shiny holographic limited edition Outdoor Chef Life sticker. And I'm gonna give these knives away separately. So there's three winners. And the way I'm gonna do it is you just have to comment down below, knife is life. Just comment that down below, okay? And I'm gonna give you away, give away the one I recommend, the most expensive one, $72. Uh, this one, I'm gonna give away on this video. And the other two knives, I'm gonna choose comments from other videos, just random any Outdoor Chef Life video. Uh, two different ones. You just have to comment knife is life on the other ones too. Any video of mine, all right? So you, if you want, you can honestly go through all my videos and comment knife is life on each of them and you'll have a higher chance of winning, all right? So I'm giving away all three, three different winners. So go for it. I'm just trying to get you to binge my content right now. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, thumbs up, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.